Sophie said I had chicken legs the other day. No. <laughs> she goes, look at these chicken legs. I was like, what? <laughs> go camping for probably our entire relationship. Now Sam's got the mighty tridy. We can now come up the beach. So we both kind of had a free couple of two days. So we decided to come out and camp on the beach for a night. You would have seen us setting up. It was the first time setting up this tent and we probably looked like the biggest camping moves because we did things so wrong. But she's up and then we went for a swim and a walk. I'm in my hooded towel and now I'm just making some lunch. And it is so beautiful here. We've come to Stradbroke Island. I've never actually been to before. We're making tuna salad sandwiches. Classic summer camping lunch. Wow. Try and get yours there. Okay. You want to be next to each other? Yeah. You want your own space way over there. Yeah, I want my own space way over there. I don't want to be anywhere near you. You can hear Odie is... <laughs> Going crazy. Not used to camping. Harvey's actually kind of in a dream. Yeah, Odie just gets home. so excited back to the around. point where he's just like, I cannot control it's myself. Like... Stopped at the bakery on the island before coming here too. Got some sourdough freshly out of the oven. I walked in and she was taking it out. Fresh like about. Oh, that is perfect. Gotta go in. It's a bit of a bitch. Pull it towards you a little bit. Towards you a little bit. Yeah. You can stay. We were coming here just for that. Oh, in that summer. Yeah. It's, what time is it? Lost track of all time, eh? Three o'clock. We're set up here on the picnic rug in the sun because Soph's cold. <laughs> the boys, I don't know if you can see it from here. They're tired. They're tucking out. They're like combined uh, with their heads. I'll show you. They've both been sleeping in the car for the last 45 minutes. You also want to know what we realised we forgot? Oh yeah. <laughs> Pillows. We've got pillows. It's gonna be good. My fashion sense is on point. <laughs> got my cricket hat. Shirt that Soph has paid me out for because I've owned it for like what? Over six years? Yeah, well I was saying that he was wearing this schoolies. Oh, we'll move it, yeah. When we kind of like got together, you wore that. <laughs> and you're still wearing it. I'm still it. repping it. It's still good. I was saying that I don't think I have one piece of clothing that I wore back in 2017. Yeah, but see it's just demoted. Yeah. It's been demoted. Like it's gone from it's gone from Your favorite shirt. a good shirt like that I would wear out mm. and slay in <laughs> to a shirt that I bring camping. We've been in our hammocks reading. Yeah. Well, I've been reading. The hammocks. It's our update. We'll probably take the boys for like a sunset walk. You said your fashion sense is great. Look at mine. I know. We're a couple of good looking hooligans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was 50. Why do I feel like that's done nothing? Oh, you're just not as strong as me. What do you mean? That was 150. One Whatever. 50? You just like to one up me, don't you? You got 200. Welcome. Come inside. Come on. I mean, it's not the most comfortable thing I've lied on. No, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally nothing makes me as happy as this time of day at the beach does.
got home a few hours ago. I actually had a dance appointment to go to. So I went to that, got another set of Invisalign. I'm officially halfway, which is very exciting. I'm very happy with the progress so far. So if I'm a bit lispy, I feel like whenever I put a new one in, it just like makes me a little bit more lispy. <laughs> we unpacked, rode our bikes to the cafe and got some lunch. And yeah, just have one of those showers. I feel like after getting back from camping, you just feel a little bit, is dirty the right word? I just kind of felt like I needed a bit of a refresh. I've cleansed, I've washed my whole body. I've just moisturized my whole body. I've got into a matching Gymshark track set. And I'm just about to exfoliate, actually. I feel like my skin's well due an exfoliation, especially just after not doing my skincare last night or this morning. As you all know, my skin has been a journey that we're still on. It was getting really good, and then I went traveling and just went all over the place again. But since getting back, I've been getting back into all of my routines with my skin and everything, and I feel like it's seriously cleared up, which is making me very happy. But Keep Skin are actually sponsoring this part of the video because this is a product that has just become such a staple in my skincare routine. The product and the packaging is actually made in Japan. The attention to detail in not only the packaging, because look at that, it's like glass, but the actual product itself feels so luxurious and like you're just really pampering your skin to the finest point that you could. It is a hydrating gel exfoliant and what I think I like so much more about this exfoliant rather than other ones is how gentle on the skin it is. Sometimes I feel like exfoliants can be so harsh. One have chemicals and just like harsh abrasives in them that just kind of leave your skin feeling super stripped back i don't know just like a bit raw if that makes sense but because it's a gel based exfoliant still exfoliating and getting all the dead skin cells off but in such a gentle way i usually just do like three pumps that's what it looks like so it just kind of looks like a clear gel so i usually just kind of massage it into my face for like 30 seconds i'm hoping you're going to be able to see this on on camera it has small gel pearls can you see that that is dead skin you can see it on my hands too that is my dead skin coming off is that not the most satisfying thing You've ever seen you know how sometimes you're exfoliating and you're like this is kind of hurting this does not feel like that at all i feel like more so than anything i've noticed a huge difference in the overall texture of my skin especially i get little like sweat pimples or sweat bumps around here even sometimes when i get my eyebrows waxed i get little like i feel like they're like congestion bumps i honestly don't know but that's what they feel like and those have improved so much since using this and i'll just wash it off and i'll just follow it with the rest of my skincare doing skincare after a night camping is one of the best things i am truly so picky with skincare but i for one try and also promote on here so i one wanted to try this out for over a month before i did recommend it but two yeah just know that i would never 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 promote a product that I didn't actually feel like it improved my skin or works. So yeah, I will link it below if you do want to check it out or just read up a bit more about it. The website probably explains a lot better than me. I do have a discount code as well, which is just Soph10. I think I might head down and make a start on dinner. We've been having a very chill afternoon after unpacking. Relaxing night in tonight. And I feel so fresh now that I feel like I've done a full body skincare. I have vlogged in a lot of different states in my life. I just feel like I look so rough today. I do have leftover, not spot treatment. I've been using a mask recently and they just kind of pop over my pimple and sleep in it. And I just, I haven't washed it off yet. My hair is freshly washed though. That is making me feel pretty, pretty fresh. So look at my new pajamas. I don't know about anyone else, but I have been so disappointed with the selection of Christmas pajamas this year. I feel like normally Peter Alexander is my go-to. Like they always have some good ones. And specifically, because in Australia we are in summer and Christmas, we obviously can't wear super cozy, like traditional Christmas pajamas that you can probably get everywhere else in the world. We can't wear them here because it is very hot. And really the only brand that does really good Christmas pajamas in Australia is Peter Alexander. But I've perused the website and I just, there's either nothing that I don't have something similar from last year. All the new stuff is just kind of disappointing. And I'm not sure if I'm being too harsh. So I've looked everywhere and nowhere has good summer Christmas pajamas. Until I stumbled across this, which I think was about $10 from Kmart. I honestly feel like this is the best Christmas pajamas I've seen on the market this year. So I'm really happy for Kmart. Cause look how cute. Little gingerbreads, puddings, bonbons, trees, cookies, candy canes, and it's pink. I think they're really cute. And to be fair, I don't need a new set of pajamas every year for Christmas, but it's just like a little tradition that I like to, to have. Like I do have an array of Christmas pajamas from the last couple of years, but I just like to keep up with traditions. I just expected more. I really just want to put my Christmas tree up. I feel like I'm very much on the TikTok for you page of other people putting up their Christmas decorations. And I'm like, this is my people. And that the Christmas festivities absolutely start on the 1st of November. So far this morning, I've just been sat at my laptop. It is now 11. And I was craving a little iced coffee. So I'm going to sit back down, do a bit more work, drink this. And then I think I'm going to head up to the gym. I actually haven't been to the gym 
in over a week, I want to say. I've been going on quite a few walks and doing at-home Pilates, which has been nice. Nice little change up, but I am kind of craving the gym. Sometimes I just feel like I crave like lifting weights, which I never thought I would say. I'm going to drink this, do a bit more work, get changed, wash off this, and then have to the gym. I'm not sure what I want to work out today because I've, I feel like my workout schedule's probably reset because I haven't been in so long. I really don't want to train lower body. I feel like my hair's a bit blonde today. I don't know if like the darkness is kind of washing away with each wash. Swear to God. Oh yeah. This, this is, is a good one. Yeah, this is this is top five too. I yeah. Reckon. And like the words are motivational too. Let's go. 2010. Yeah. Sam. Before a rugby game, I'm putting this in. I'm putting this banger on in the car. Church and like bleach, man. Why you had this stupid this <laughs> When the bass goes, you can feel yourself like levitate. <laughs> It's just 10% luck, you know? That's 20% skill right there. So we procrastinated leg day for approximately... 10 minutes? Yeah. It's a 10 minute clip. Yep. Yep. Pre's kicking in now. I haven't had any pre. What? Just didn't feel like it. Oh, just the idea of doing some squats right now. I'm telling you what. I'm not doing squats. I'm not doing squats either. squats. I think I'm just going to do deadlifts. That's tempting. I really enjoy a... It's already hot in here. It's deadlift. Same. Like a wide leg. Bruh, sumo. Sumo deadlift, yeah. Yeah, really feel like it gets the old pancake working, you know what I'm saying? Pancake? So said I had chicken legs the other day. No. <laughs> she goes, look at these chicken legs. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but like, no. what? <laughs> I meant like juicy thighs. She, so she was thinking about the, the, the chicken thigh. The thigh. She's understand that chicken leg, the term means like skinny ass legs. <laughs> like, those, like chicken feet. You think of those little two prong things. <laughs> Skinny ass. My car be skinny. Put Will and set the picture. Ding. I felt bad as soon as I said it. Not as soon as you said it. As soon as I pointed it. Out. Yeah, I was like, you were like legs. chicken legs. <laughs> we're no, it's hot in here now. Gym. It's hot in here. We're gonna go in and special exercise. I'm really not gonna put that much effort into it. Come on now. You've convinced me. <laughs> Wish us luck.
I have no reason to. Recently I've just been feeling like quite tired all the time. <laughs> it's just awesome. Uh, and I've been sleeping fun. I don't know. I have been filming most of the day. I spent about three hours filming my Gymshark Black Friday try on, which will be the next video up after this. Now I've just been sat on the couch for a bit. I probably need to get out of the habit of editing on the couch. I just love it. I'm so cozy here. But is it the best for like being productive? Potentially not. But I do love a bit of a work stint on the couch. I think I'm going to be here for probably the rest of the day and then I want to get an early night tonight because I have a pretty big day tomorrow. Also, I feel like I say this every single time when I haven't worn makeup in a while, but I just feel so much better. <laughs> I'm just in such a happier, positive mindset when I feel like I put in some effort into my appearance. And obviously not everyone's like that. Not everyone wants to put makeup on and I don't know, like somewhat do their hair. And generally, oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, especially because I work from home. Sometimes I'm just like, there's just no point in putting effort into my appearance. And then I do. And I'm like, hmm, I feel so much better. I think it's just like the act of, you know, putting effort into yourself maybe. I don't know. All I know is I've been in a much better mood today. <laughs> and it's the first day I put makeup on in a while. So I'm thinking that might have some correlation. Say hello to everyone. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. The whole family's here. I'm loving this. Thank you so much for this cuddle. I love that he just comes and plonks himself on me. He's just the type of dog as well that would just lie there for like an hour. Like Odie is not like that at all. He, he's got places to be and things to do. Harvey, he's just fine chilling. Oh, hello again. Awesome. That's cool. This is so wholesome of us. Well, on that note, this is going to be me for the rest of the day, though. So I'm going to leave you here. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. I love you endlessly. And I'll see you in a couple of days because that's when my Gymshark Black Friday try on haul will be going up. Two uploads this week. I know. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs>